Hi, I'm Dr. Raymond Sakula. I'm a professor of neurological surgery at New York Presbyterian Columbia University Irvine Medical Center. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about trigeminal neuralgia in so-called elderly patients. In neurosurgery, the term elderly has historically been used for patients above the age of 65 years. Now, when I was in training and early in my practice, uh, patients with trigeminal neuralgia were mostly referred for the lesser invasive procedures, such as um, some of the percutaneous procedures like glycerol rhizolysis of the trigeminal ganglion or balloon rhizolysis of the trigeminal ganglion or stereotactic rhizolysis using the gamma knife of the trigeminal nerve um, or a number of procedures like that, basically procedures that were same day and did not require a general anesthetic. Um, over the years, we've worked uh, really diligently to try to make microvascular decompression safer for elderly patients. And the reason we've done that is that for the correct elderly patient, um, microvascular decompression is really a far superior treatment to the other treatments that I've mentioned. Um, and so what we look for is patients who have signs and symptoms consistent with classical trigeminal neuralgia. In other words, the type of facial pain that's shocking, um, electrical, patients almost invariably say it's the worst pain they've ever felt or experienced. Um, they often initially respond to the drugs carbamazepine or oxcarbamazepine. Um, but over time, uh, they start to notice side effects as they require more and more of the medication. So as they get up into the 600, 800, 1,000 milligrams per day, the, they may notice that they're feeling lethargic, stuporous, um, sometimes kind of clumsy, and just feeling like I'm not living my life anymore. Um, also, they can have trouble with their sodium dropping to a level that they need to receive uh, salt supplements. Um, they can have occasionally trouble with their white blood count dropping. And, um, and so then it becomes a situation where they either have to try other medications, which are often less effective at relieving pain, or they have to start thinking about a surgical procedure. Um, and when they come to us, we we're, we're order a really high resolution MRI to see if the patients have a blood vessel that's compressing their nerve. And, and if they have all three of those factors, then they're often very good candidates for microvascular decompression surgery. Now, I wanna be clear here, a patient doesn't have to be 80 years old and perfectly fit to undergo um, a microvascular decompression. In other words, they don't have to be free of all medical problems because the reality is that as at age 75 or 80, many patients have medical illnesses are, and are taking uh, multiple medications. But it's very rare these days that the patient is not medically fit enough for us to perform that operation. So I guess what I want to leave you with is that it's an operation that's highly effective for certain types of trigeminal neuralgia and it certainly can be used in elderly patients and when it is it's almost always just an overnight stay in the hospital and it's by far the most durable uh, relief of pain and the complications are really no different um, than they are in a 40 year old um, in the right hands.